Drop, drop it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this one, me and Lenny have been out, meet a friend, take the massive ramp. We've been getting loads of air. We've taken all this with us, the Habeo, both the Maxes and the Asuga. Everything, I think, takes on a bit of damage in this video. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you stick around till the end where I'll come back to the garage and we'll look at the damages that each one's taken on. But yeah, enjoy this one. Big ramp, sun's out, good friends, good company. And uh, we absolutely send them. So see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was about half throttle. Yeah. yeah. I've lost power. Got a groove in your chassis. I think that's actually straight. It's fine. I've straightened it. That's straight, yeah. Why is it stopped? Um, that's my jumper plug. <laughs> well, it had power when it landed here. So the jumper plug must be in there somewhere. As long as you land them, yeah. generally you're okay. Yeah. I land them and end up sort of bending a fitting shaft somewhere. Wow, look at that. Ooh, what a shit there. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> yeah. 8S, yeah. No, that's only on four. Oh, okay, what, what are you running in? Back to your Max 8 G2. Max 8 G2 with a 2250 kV motor. So that's it, that's it. And then you're, you're running what? And that's only on 4S with a 18 tooth. <laughs> Ooh! I, I, I just saw my light fibers flash before my eyes, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. Is some jump. Yep. That sounded. Did you power in the air? Power in the air. Trying to do a battery. Oh right. Does so that sounded like? Whoa. That made a weird noise. Yeah, I'm not sure you'll backflip. Well, I mean, I wouldn't. Tempt face.
Yeah, that's a race. I think it's popped my shock off, but I landed okay, so. Spark, spark, spark. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off. Eee. Mine's done exactly the same as what yours has done. I think I've turned it off. I've unplugged it. Mine has done exactly the same. It's taken the cables in through the spur gear and chewed everything up. Right, to the maxes. UCC um, motor. It's got uh, three Savox 40 uh, kilogram servos. It's got a Vertigo clutch kit. Uh, the bloke who had it before, and a Samba exhaust. I bought the flipping thing for basically the price of the motor and the exhaust. The whole lot. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Right. <laughs> Send it off the ramp, Lenny. <laughs> Break it, you it. That's it, yeah, you bend it, you mend it, and all that. Really? That's mental.
Send them big. <laughs> the noisy boy. Here he comes, screaming! Nice! Well, it's, it's undressed itself, but it's fine. <laughs> In comes Lenny. Whoa. Do you know what it needs, Lenny? The other ram. Go on then, Lenny. They certainly go up. They go up now. Oh, on the nose. <laughs> You're not getting the rotation needed. Yeah, he's on stock gearing. Mine is actually geared down. Be boiling now. Yeah, mine's geared down, but to get a decent backflip off this, it's not about hitting it with speed. I'll come in with no run up. Because at speed, once you hit it at speed and you're in the air, you haven't got anything else for the rotation. It's like it's, it's, it's a bit like cricket. No, 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 golf. No, I'm good finesse in the swing. Yeah. Not that I can. No, I've got any finesse with golf. It's just whack it hard and see how far it goes. God, I'm terrible with golf. I could probably throw I'm, it I'm further. Golf. <laughs> yes. Nice. Right, incoming, mind your head. Make sure you make sure you can get that photo bomber out there. What are they paying the butt he was, weren't he? Oh, that. Nice! Oh. That's almost there. Oh, hang on, and woo! <laughs> almost! <laughs> and my lipo's out. Wait, is this something you're using for your car? Nope. I'm gonna say, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you when I drive my dad's firm, Budget Scarf Incorporated. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's nothing to do with I'll me. Tell you what, that, this here is definitely a budget scarf incorporated. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. But wow. look at the abuse it's taken. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have I? Oh yeah, no, my uh, my bodge on the hubs. Yeah. I've done a very impressive bodge. I'm well happy with it. Oh, that's it. I yeah. will be showing people in the garage later. Yeah. Nice, Lenny. I got, yeah. Have I lost the steering? It's gone a bit vague, but it's still there. Ah, oh, now your oh, lipo's man. out. It's like a graveyard down here. Yeah. 
although they still run so yeah. that's the way it goes this it? is why i think the maxes are the best basher yeah. is it the, is it the is it the v1 or was it or were the wide max v2s these are both v1s right, yeah. but mine's got the wide max arms yeah and lennis has got standard arms yeah. with hub extenders Oh, oh, right. Almost. I almost done a front flip. Yeah, I bet mine's quite hot. I don't slam the brakes, so I go half brake and then I go back on power. <laughs> Is mine hot? We'll let them cool. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was on its nose. Yeah. <laughs> Shows all right, Lenny. Oh no, crumbs. Ah. Oh well. Ah. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. I think my hub's popped out now. Oh, it took on the ramp. Oh. Incoming! <laughs> okay, back in the garage. What did you think of that? Uh, we've really enjoyed that. Let's just quickly look at the damages that each one here has taken on. Now, obviously this is my Max. Lenny's Max did take on some damage, but it was exactly the same as mine. And it was just that these arms flex and the hub pops out. In fact, let me show you in that little clip again how much these actually flex and you'll see why they pop out. It is unbelievable the amount of flex that these can take on. Check this out. So that is why they come out. Now, my awesome Bodget Garage mod, right in there. Let me see if I can get you a better view of that. That in there is a bearing, or the remains of a bearing. Right there. And what I've done is, a broken bearing that we'd had in one of these anyway, I've popped the, that perfect circle of the bearing and it's the perfect size to fit over the little nub on the bottom of the hub there and that's where it rips out in a crash so since putting that on these haven't ripped out so yes it's a bodge does it work yes it does i'm very happy with it apart from that the max is fine um, the exact same thing happened to len is it was just he crashed in fact it was that clip i showed you that was lenny's these flex that pops out you put it back in again carry on the asuga this took a bit of a hit on one of them he landed quite heavy on the rear arm which flexed something enough to proper eject the drive shaft now he found the drive shaft i took it all apart put it all back together again and it, 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 it's ran fine so that's not a problem the reason we had to stop playing with this put that over there is which i have fixed now the cables are fault entirely we should have made sure they were tied up better for doing big bashing like that they dropped into that gap 
and then got dragged in to the centre diff, to there. And that is just gears in there. And as you know, if it, cables get dragged into there, it is going to cause you a problem. Well, we suffered that fate today with these. But I just cut the damaged bit of cable out, I've resoldered it back into this. And that's all up and running again. So that is the only damage that I think that's taken on. I have looked over it. We do need to give them a bit of a clean now. But epic, all that works. My Hubeo obviously took on the same damage, the exact thing that happened to this, with the cables being dragged into that centre diff. That exact thing happened to my Hubeo. So that tells me that's not the truck's fault, because these are two separate trucks, and we had exactly the same issue. So that's user error, definitely. We need to make sure our cables are strapped up better, zip-tied in, whatever. Uh, normal running, it's not an issue heavy bashing like that off the big ramp they're, they're going to end up at the lowest point of the truck and that is where that centre diff is so that's our fault it's, I've fixed it again on the Hebeo same thing but it's pointless me showing you the, the same damage and it's more tricky on the Hebeo because it's got a cage on it uh, yeah perfect Lenny's Max just popped a hub my Max only popped a hub I believe nothing else is broken on that since taking this back to stock, getting rid of all the metal hubs, getting rid of the metal drive shafts, I don't know if it's just luck or if the plastic is just allowing more flex and less damage to things, but I'm definitely breaking less bulkheads, less bearings. I'm yet to break a drive shaft. I'm sure it'll happen, but I'm yet to break one. I have got spares. But if I'm getting less breakages with that, I'm happy. So that's a win for me. That, yep, happy with that still. It does take a kick in. We shouldn't send it really like we do, but we have loads of fun with it. I hope you also have loads of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Bash the bell and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.